Suking Pro's arithmetic. Running around these past few days has been a bit tiring. I have to do arithmetic problems in my dreams every night. I thought about it over and over but still couldn't figure it out. I woke up in a cold sweat. According to a certain gentleman, he would have nocturnal emissions every time he dreamed of doing math exercises and woke up. Although I had no semen, I was also exhausted and dying. I remember that when I was in a girl's middle school, I studied when you was mixed arithmetic, which was very troublesome in terms of geometry and algebra. Mathematics is taught at 5 o'clock every week, every day except Monday. After an hour of lectures, there are always two or three exercises about 20 or 30 questions. It is designated to ask people to go to the blackboard to do them tomorrow. At that time, we had to attend seven hours of classes every day, as well as morning exercises, extracurricular sports, meetings alumni association, student union, class meetings, local lectures, various seminars and other things. And we always had to comb our hair, wash your feet, or change clothes. There is really not much time left, but the Chinese teacher wants you to take notes and submit a composition. The English teacher wants you to look up new words and memorize conversations. The physics and chemistry teacher wants you to do experiments before adding points under the threat of inducements and credit deductions. Everyone is dizzy. How can they pay off the math debts that come one after another? Therefore, I adhere to the principle of it has to be left to him. Fortunately, at the level of 55, the one who is called out is only half the situation. Does it mean that I deserve to be the unlucky one? I hope to be spared today, and I hope to be spared tomorrow. If I don't understand the front clearly, I won't understand the rest. No matter how much debt I have, I made a verbal agreement with the lady next to me to divide the work. I will be responsible for Chinese and English, and I will do her compositions and sentences for her. However, every time in math class, when I am called to the blackboard to do calculations, I will I ask her to come over to me, spit, and give me a piece of paper. If she and I were called forward at the same time, we would always find a place to stand side by side and wink. She couldn't leave until I left, and I couldn't start until she left. After three years of this, everyone was happy. Her Chinese and English scores were over 80, and my math scores were also ranked first. After working as a teacher in Nanfang for several years, he finally became frightened and decided to apply for the normal course of X middle school. Unexpectedly, the introduction to child psychology and education was more boring than geometric algebra, so he obtained the consent of the school authorities and transferred to the general course. This time all mathematics textbooks are in English, including trigonometry and solid geometry. Most of them have been saved. Mathematics teacher Mr. Who is our principal's teacher. He is old and frail, and his family is well off. He was not willing to work hard to teach part-time. After our principal's request, he volunteered to teach our first-level solid geometry. The triangle was taught by the principal. Mr. himself is in charge. The principal has a bachelor's degree in engineering from Peking University. His academic method is to memorize things by rote and whether he understands them or not is secondary. The trigonometry book we studied was one that he knew by heart. He could recite the formulas immediately by saying them. And the same goes for the exercises. But if you change Sina, B to Singskosi, he will be stunned for a long time. He did this himself and wants us to follow suit. Because I was new to the subject, I had to memorize most of the trigonometry book. The 39 formulas were barely complied with but I couldn't remember hundreds of exercises. This made me think about dropping out of school several times. There were originally eight girls in our first class, but at the end of the semester, there were only three left. With my addition, we made up half of the original number. The reasons for dropping out of school were all because of the bad health caused by carrying a triangular back. Some suffered from brain leakage, some suffered from menstrual disease, and the remaining three maths were not very good either. They all got passing grades by working hard all night. As for boys, they mostly cheat. Mr. Tang's method is different from the principal. He has a deep understanding and strong interest in mathematics, and he can't wait to teach us what he has learned. He explains it in very detailed and clear terms, and many people are very interested. But there is also a bad thing. Every time he meets someone among his classmates who is not happy to listen to the lecture, 
or cannot do the exercises that make money easy. He always shows a very sad expression. He doesn't scold us. He just feels sorry for himself. But when we see him, we feel more uncomfortable than scolding him. He believes that mathematics is omnipotent and mathematics is supreme. If people do not understand mathematics, they will waste their lives. He cannot let us waste our lives. He loves us, but we really have no way to keep him from being disappointed due to time and mental constraints. In order to repay his kindness and save my own face, I had no choice but to deceive. I have several cousins who are fond of mathematics. I often write express registered letters to ask them to do exercises for them. Then I sharpen my pencils and copy them all in the blank spaces of the book for reference. Apply when going to Blackboard. Sometimes he would randomly ask dozens of questions, which would make me run all over the city. During the exam, I had to drive for five or six nights. Every time I took a math test, I always had to take a few days of sick leave. He taught algebra in the second grade and analytic geometry in the third grade. When I graduated, I was the only girl left. This was not because my math scores suddenly improved, nor did I simply stop caring whether he was sad or not. The reason was that I there is already someone like the lady who stuffed paper balls for me every day in junior high school. That is a male classmate sitting behind me, who is now my husband. There was a thunderbolt, and the national college entrance examination began, which made us panic. The biggest difficulty was mathematics. The school authorities were well aware of this, so they added more hours to review all the textbooks starting from the first grade of junior high school, up to 10 times a week. This point makes everyone have a sense of resistance and eagerness to resist X and they even declare their opposition to the National Higher Education Examination. To be honest, if mathematics were not included in the general examination subjects, at least 9 out of 10 students would be like me and would not sign the declaration. We would not have thought that the National College Entrance Examination would not be in line with the educational principles. This or that, you would have a splitting headache by burning the midnight oil to do exercises in math class. And then, you would come up with that high-sounding statement about the 10 harmful effects of the National College Entrance Examination. The National Examination passed, and then the Capital X University Humanities Test required scores above the standard score in each subject. According to a newspaper, I was the only one in the six counties of N who was lucky this time. Many people who took the test of literature, art, music, and sports failed to do it. I failed in mathematics. As for why I was admitted, it's a coincidence that two of the five questions were just read last night. One was from the beautiful girl next door to the right. Her paper was placed on the left. She only copied one question on it, and she was taking it. I scratched out my scratch paper with a pen and thought hard. This question made me succeed, but I never met this beautiful girl after entering school. Maybe she also failed, so I never had the opportunity to ask her. Acknowledgements because I majored in liberal arts, I have been insulated from mathematics since then, except for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division that I use every day. I have indeed suffered a lot because of it, and I still feel heart palpitations when I think about it. I have never gained any benefit from it. Physics, chemistry, biology, etc. can help me understand some things I see every day, but it has absolutely nothing to do with me. I feel that forcing a person who loves literature to do algebraic trigonometry is the same waste of energy and time as forcing a person who studies mathematics and physics to study the four books and five classics. Not all middle school students are geniuses. We hope the education authorities can estimate our abilities and then set curriculum standards. 好了,